Hi traders, my name is Duncan Cooper and I'm a Senior Market Strategist and Trading Manager at ACY Securities. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the key trading levels for the week ahead for the pairs the Australian dollar to the Japanese yen, the Australian dollar to the US dollar, the euro to the Japanese yen, the euro to the US dollar, the pound to the Japanese yen, and the pound to the US dollar. So let's get into the first pair. Hi traders, hope you've had a safe trading week. Now I'm on the Aussie Yen Day chart here and I've got my monthly, weekly and daily levels drawn in and I'm just going to talk about the levels relative to price action but all my levels are in the description below so you can reference. So a very strong week for the Aussie Yen, it actually broke above monthly resistance here, 86.24 and it's just going hard and strong. So up above here at the moment I've got 88.17, 89.08 and further above a major monthly resistance top at 90.29 so those are all monthly resistance levels. I really wouldn't be looking to engage to the short side in this pair at the moment. It's a question of if you're in a long position where would you want to take profits at and any one of these monthly levels would be a great level. In terms of, of trying to engage and get long, uh, I'd like to see a healthy pullback. So a pullback to what should be now monthly support. 86.24. If price did pull back to that level, I'd be looking at that level for an opportunity to be a buyer on a setup. At the moment, though, I feel that this is probably going to move up to the next level, and then it could further advance up to 9.24. Anything can happen at the moment. The market is very volatile. So with the FOMC interest rate decision following that rise, uh, this is just broken above monthly resistance and is going gangbusters. So. Uh, you should be looking for opportunities to be, to be a buyer, I think, but where would you look for that opportunity? Uh, healthy pullback to 86.24 would be great, but I don't know whether the market will give us that this week. Okay, that's the Aussie Yen. Okay, traders, on to the Aussie Dollar. Now, a very difficult pair as well to trade. Uh, last week, uh, we came down to weekly support, and at that point, we're in a downtrend. On the daily we had a lower top and then we've rushed up Wednesday Thursday Friday changing the trend to up moving above this top so we've actually come back up to challenge monthly resistance 74.14 and weekly resistance at 74.26 now in this area two weeks ago we heavily rejected so the question is is this area going to act as strong resistance once more for a pullback? What I'd like to see, because the trend is now up, is that we do have a pullback and pull back to weekly support, 73.14. Can that occur? And then with that newly formed uptrend at the moment, does that hold us support for an opportunity to buy to further move up and retest this area and potentially move up? To have a challenge at 7478 weekly resistance now very challenging pair because when price was down here you would have probably thinking this this may have a day up and then move further down but short term trend has now swung back to up can it have a pullback and give you an opportunity to look, look for an opportunity to buy ideally that would be for me at 7314 area but price might not give me that opportunity. This may well just continue up, so it might break through resistance here. So if it breaks through resistance, um, in terms of an opportunity to take profit at 74.78 weekly resistance from this high over here would be a great area to take profits at and then reassess what price action is doing. Okay, so that's the Aussie US dollar. Okay, up next, the Euro Yen. Now we've had a, obviously a meteoric rise from weekly support down here, 125.08. And it's actually come back up to weekly resistance, this area over here. And it did Thursday into Friday, touch twice daily resistance up here. So that's 131.90 daily resistance and weekly resistance at 131.59. Now, as you can see, it isn't able to close above 131.59 over the last two trading days. So is this where this meteoric rise exhausts for then a move back down the range? So for me to engage, I might need to see a lower top form here first of all. But two things obviously can happen here. This rally is just going to continue and re-challenge 
133.12. So if you're in a bought position and you still want to hold, that would be a great level to look to take your profits at. And then do we see a failure? Or is this area here where price is going to start to fail? If it does start to fail, you know, you really need to see this come down, maybe then come back up and have a retest and failure. That once more becomes clear resistance at 131.59. And then that would be a safer sell. Just selling here at the moment is probably too risky. So looking for a lower top to form to be a seller. If you're in a bought position, well, this is a great area to take profits at, obviously. And obviously further up here, if it can manage, that will be a great area to take profits and look for them price to maybe weaken. And does it show the opportunity for a reversal up at 133.12? Okay, so that's the year again, highly volatile. And I've said this before, in a very volatile market, you don't need to trade, you can wait till things subside a little bit. So that's the euro yen. Okay, onto the euro dollar. And a pair that's less volatile, and I've been trading this one because it's been less volatile. And what we saw last week, uh, we got support down at 109, and we re-came back up to. 111.21 weekly resistance. So we have actually failed there once and moved down. I actually traded down from that level before and we came back up to 111.21 again and actually traded that level yesterday. And we've moved back down on Friday and the question is, is this level now gonna hold? So clearly at the moment 111.21 weekly resistance is resistance and are we gonna now move down to retest 109? daily support. Uh, it's a little bit consolidatory here. If you move to your weekly chart, what you'll see is that we just managed to have a week up. And is that all this pair can have before then it wants to continue down and have further weeks down, time will tell. So at the moment, intraday and on the day chart close on Friday, 111.21 weekly resistance is holding a resistance. So I'm anticipating that this may move down to daily support. Uh, if we get a close above that level, then obviously we're going to have a much deeper rally and then price could be coming up to challenge 111.86 weekly resistance here and we could move further up obviously to 112.39 monthly resistance. But at the moment, 111.21 is holding as resistance and until proved differently, I'm just expecting this may move back down to retest 109 day support. All right, so that's a euro dollar. Okay, onto the pound yen, another very highly volatile pair. And uh, we've obviously had a very strong rise back up this week. So there's lots of lines here, so I'll try and make sense for you of these lines. Uh, 156.07, 156.59, and then 158.21. These are monthly resistance highs. So we're trading back into a monthly resistance area. And what we can see within that resistance area is that we've had a failure here and a move down, a failure here and a strong move down, and we're coming back up into the same area. So is this move up gonna exhaust in this area once more and then turn back around, time will tell. So what I'm watching for at the moment is I'm watching at this daily resistance level, 157.29. This weekly resistance level at 157.76, and of course at the final high, 158.21 monthly resistance. There's also another top there at, uh, I can't tell you what it is because I've got my drawing tool on, but you can reference that yourself. Obviously, there's a number of resistance areas here that the market could fail at and hold. I think, you know, if you're a buyer and you're already in, in a trade, then you should be monitoring these levels to take profit at. If you want to be a seller, you really probably want to wait for a lower top to form on the day chart. So in this area here, we moved down, we came up and we put in a lower top and then we got the move down. So if you're looking for an opportunity to sell in this area, again, you know, look for a move down, a rally and then a lower top to form. Just engaging this pair by just trading at a level at the moment it's probably too risky because it's very volatile and you could well be wrong so 
wait for a clear signal. So if you're in a bought position, watch those levels to take profit at. If you're looking for an opportunity to sell, just be patient, wait for a lower top to form before engaging, I think. Okay, so that is the pound Japanese yen. Okay, so the last pair to review is the pound US dollar. And by the end of the week, we've come back up to retest monthly resistance and daily resistance. So monthly resistance is 131.68 and daily resistance is 131.94. So the question is, is this area gonna hold as resistance for a move back down? So we've got strong support down here at the 13000 level at the start of the week, moving back up to challenge the monthly resistance at 131.68. So at the start of the week, if we start to see intraday failure here, we could well be moving back down to revisit and retest the 13000 level. Uh, if we start, you know, if we get a close above here on Monday, then in all possibility, then we're going to be trading back up to retest 132.72. Does that then offer an opportunity to trade down from? Can move further up does this offer an opportunity to trade down from? So 133.57 is weekly resistance. That would be a great level to consider for maybe the end of the rally uh, and look to maybe engage in taking a trade there for the next bigger move down. All right, so we'll just have to watch what price action does. Can it hold at the 131.68 month resistance level? If it does intraday and can't close above that level on Monday, it could well be moving back down to 130.00. If we get a close above that level, then I'm anticipating that we're gonna come up and challenge at 132.72 and quite possibly come up and challenge 133.57 weekly resistance. All right, so that's the levels to watch on the pound US dollar. Okay, traders, that's my analysis for today. If you wanna keep up to date with my analysis, simply subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you next time. Now, if you'd like to follow my Forex trading analysis throughout the week, why not subscribe to the ACY Securities live interactive trading feed Telegram channel. Simply contact Nathan Bray at acy.com to get access.